We have been dreaming about playing J Stars Victory versus Plus for like a year. Yeah. I mean, think about imagine this: all of your favorite Shonen Jump characters all in one video game where they can fight. You can have Goku versus Naruto. You can have Ichigo versus Toriko. Toriko. I mean, it's uh, it's the, oh, the Kuroko guys... from Kuroko's basketball. Exactly. Versus... I mean, it's just such a giant group of characters. Ah, it's... in theory, it is a dream come true. It's clearly a port. It's clearly the Japanese version we played because it had English subtitles, and uh, it also and that's cool. And and I also like the fact that we played, uh, you know, together co op versus uh, another team. Yeah. So that was neat. We were each a character versus another team. That was cool, and we uh, played. Uh, Konoha Village. We played in, you know, Leaf Village, which was cool. Yeah, that was cool. I have to say, though, it was terrible. Yeah. It was absolutely terrible. It was really hard to direct things. I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand. I I seemed to be defeating someone, and then they'd be back immediately, and I didn't understand how I was supposed to actually kill them or not, and... And, and actually seeing where your character was was kind of difficult sometimes. Yeah, well, first off, you know, it was really irritating because there was a split screen, right? Because we were playing together. But, like, they only used, like, half of the available screen side to side, uh, top to bottom. So, in other words, it's like, it, it, imagine, like, a 16 by 9 sort of ratio on, like, a 4 by 3 TV. And so there's, like, the little screen on the side... Uh, gray on the top and bottom and then like these giant sort of HUD graphics that show like your power level and a bunch of other stuff in the playable area and it's yeah. like I can hardly tell what's happening already based on gameplay and now you're and now then there's so little screen space I was like why would you make a game like this yeah it was really confusing and and not just that but like uh, the mechanics I thought were bad the world was just strangely built like I gotta say, it was more frustrating than anything else. Yeah, it really was. It was. It, it, I feel like we might be judging it more harshly because we felt so disappointed by it. Sure. Um, but but at the same time, I I couldn't find anything that I actually enjoyed about it except for just the concept of of using these characters that we love so much. Yeah, I mean, it's like exactly the core concept is unbelievable, and I think that you know. Taking this concept and applying it to something like a Marvel vs. Capcom would be amazing. Yeah. But this sort of open, this sort of like third person uh, weird combat they have here is just, it's not flying. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it could be like a, a Smash Brothers kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but but even in, in that respect, like, you know, I'd still want to first off know that I was fighting against you. And second off, I did, again, I didn't understand if I was even defeating any of the people. Or, uh, you know, next up, there's two other games we're talking about. Uh, one was created by Dimps, which are the people who made Xenoverse. One's by CyberConnect2 that make the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm games. They're both very good developers. I think that could have tackled a game like this successfully. Yeah. Uh, I don't know even who did JSR's victory, but not great at all. Yeah. Either way, guys, you know what? What do we know? Maybe we're wrong. You could check it out June 30th of this year a PS3, PS4, and Vita if you want, but I'm definitely going to stay away. I'm very sad by this. Yeah, maybe this is more of a Vita game. Yeah.